Hello and welcome to Dream Infinite Studios Illustrator Tutorial. Um, this is about using mathematics to calculate sizes and uh, rotations in Illustrator. Now I know the thought of the idea of doing math may cringe some of you, especially uh, visual people like me. I mean, I was horrible in math. I still am horrible in math. I don't even know if, if I could do a three-digit uh, division problem. But anyways. That's not really so much what this tutorial is about. We're not going to really sit here and do the math for ourselves, but we're, we're going to let Illustrator do the math for us. Now, in Illustrator, um, the best part is, um, based obviously, it has a lot of options to do a lot of things. Um, but we're going to start off with a single square, just like this right here. Um, I filled it green so you guys could really clearly um, see it. Maybe I, oops. Maybe I should darken it a little bit more. Now in Illustrator we can manipulate um, angles, size, and position. Um, that's like the three basic things that Illustrator could manipulate really, really easily. Now we can move it, um, go into the rotate tool, pressing R, we can rotate the box, obviously, and then we can scale the box in the scale tool, we can scale it. Um, but we, there's another way of doing this, and the best way of doing this is once you have the object selected and you go into these certain tools, for instance the scale tool, and double click the icon, it gives you this dialog menu. The bo dialog box, I mean. Um, the best way to do this is just by hitting enter. That's much easier than double clicking. Now we have go to the move tool and press enter. I'm going to select the box first. Select enter, it gives you the move. The scale tool, hit enter, gives you the scale menu. Rotate, hit enter, it gives you the rotate menu. Simple as that. Now, we're going to go do the whole math thing. Um, the, the best example probably with for this is going to the scale tool and then hitting enter and then we get this 100% you know scale we're going to do the uniform scale for now now in terms of math what this is how it works basically you type in the math um, equation into the box for instance not so much equation but you know like subtract add for instance let's say we want to do uh, multiply we want to multiply this box in two times its size, so that would be 200%, because um, right now it's set at 100%. So we do times, which is an asterisk on your keyboard, and two. And when you hit tab, it automatically calculates for you. And when you hit it OK, it changes the size of the box to double its size. Now we do the same thing again. Now we're going to do minus. Now in terms of minus, uh, two, which will be 98%, isn't that big of a difference. So we want to do, for instance, 45% and hit tab and it will do scale 55 percent and when you hit it it'll scale it down 55 percent from the original size so as you can tell it's really really cool um, divide is um, forward slash times two hit tab it'll change to 50 percent it'll change to 50 percent of its scale and then with plus two let's say we want to have 45 percent or plus 45 of the hundred and there you go <coughs> now in terms of the move tool Sorry about the cough. I'm just kind of getting a weird throat thing. In terms of the move tool, it works the same way. Um, right now, it's at 0.1177 inches of horizontal. And if we type in minus 50, it'll do the um, 50 for you. And it'll move, well, it actually moved it way too much, like all the way over here. So let's try that again. So for instance, horizontal, we do minus, minus. 0.5. You see the shift in the in position. Simple as that. Um, rotate works the same way. Um, we could do 45 times 2, and I'll just do it for you. 45 times 2 is 90. Um, or in sense 100 time uh, divided by 5, it rotates it for you. So Illustrator is really calculated almost all over the place. Um, it's really really um, a cool way to kind of do things. Now it doesn't really work. Just remember, it doesn't really work too well um, um, with the new document uh, settings because um, <clears throat> there's just a lot of things that are going on. I mean, there's really no reason for you to set certain um, equations within, you know, like the new document settings. But it can do it. Um, that's not the problem. See, as you can tell, it can do it. Um, but usually you have the basic statistic, um, basic um, settings um, when you start off a document. So there's really no reason to 
divide or you know do a math problem within that um, section but I, f I find it a lot I, f I catch myself doing it a lot um, when I'm working on a project and I need to change the size of it a little bit for instance let's say I just want to change this like you know at least five more so I just do five plus five you know I mean that's I mean something that you can easily do on the head obviously because if you're sitting here kind of wondering what 100 plus 5 is, you, you know, you kind of have issues, but things can get complex, and uh, it, those are the times when you really want to sit and kind of, you know, work, um, do the math. I mean, don't want to do the math and let Illustrator do it for you. Now, I have a tutorial based on using art, uh, the artboard uh, tool, um, but I'm not going to get into that right now, but uh, again, the artboard tool has the pro um, same option of doing math for instance right now it's set seven by set by it's set to letter size which is uh, eight and a half by eleven we can easily um, change the size of that for instance a client comes up to you and tells you well we want double the size of letter that's going to be eleven by seventeen we could change it to eleven by seventeen and there you go voila the art on the art board has changed um, from eight and a half to double its size so again it's a very cool um, technique um, it's very based on production um, it's not so much of a design technique, but it just kind of tells you what illustrators are capable. Illustrator is capable of doing. Thank you for watching.